is a really cool way to talk about science. I mean, we can look at the like molecules that we're trying to bring together in ice cream with like the milk, with the fat that's in the milk, the fat that's in the cream and how much is coming together with different sugars that are in maple syrup. And that's just what's creating this whole yummy thing. Mm. Okay, so, um, so then right now what you'll do once you get that measured is to take a table, tablespoon plus two teaspoons of cornstarch. You can also yes. use tapioca starch. Yes. That's kind of your insurance policy on ice cream. So when you add other things, let's just yes. say strawberries are full of water and you want to make strawberry ice cream. Well, it won't make it, it'll make it so that it doesn't get icy with the strawberries. So, so cornstarch is just like a little bit of your insurance policy to keep it kind of, you know, okay. not icy so, to absorb the water. So I would need this to keep things from like crystallizing. Mm hmm Yep. Right. Um, with what my recipe, you actually don't have to have it. Like you can leave it out, but um, I just find that it just makes it so much easier to do and okay. all that. And yep. Where is this going? Just in this a will go in a little cup. Great. And then what you're going to do is add a little of that milk that you just measured out. Delicious. You're going to add like a little bit and make a slurry. You ever and made a slurry one before? One, one tablespoon. One tablespoon plus two teaspoons. 